One of the VK kids is not a kid anymore. Dove Cameron is growing and evolving and since her contract with Disney is up, she's exploring her own purpose and much of it includes her music. In this video about Dove Cameron, facts, I'll cover what the star has been up to during lockdown and how she mentally prepares when she's recording her new music and why that's her focus right now. Keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Azalea Hart. Question of the day, what is your favorite thing about Dove Cameron? Comment down below and let me know. When you've finished watching this video, be sure to check out some more videos that I have on Dove Cameron and Disney's Descendants. You can also follow me on Instagram for your chance to get a shout out in the next video. So what has Dove been up to since lockdown? She told Paper Magazine that she's prioritizing working and feels lucky to be able to do a lot of it from home. She started recording again with all the qualifications that are needed in this new world safety wise. When quarantine began, she was filming two movies at the time of lockdown and that was her main focus for a really long time and she thought that they would just go home for two weeks and then come back and finish them. But the movies have now been on hold for over six months so she's focused on writing and planning on releasing more music very soon. She also enjoys FaceTiming her family, working on her mental health, learning French and writing a lot. Now when it comes to the Disney Dove Cameron and the Dove Cameron in real life, she describes it as a strange combination to be from the Disney Channel, but to not have her sound be shaped by the Disney Channel. She explained that all the music she did with Disney, which was a lot, was always through a character and it was never her own. So she feels like the music that was representing her for a really long time had 0% to do with her as a person. She said she waited until she was virtually done with Disney to release her first single and that was truly her speaking to her music. She told Paper Magazine, I think that was unique and I also think that it was a bit scary, but people are so supportive. For as many people as I am terrified of in the world, there are so many really kind people who have a really varied perspective. I don't have to go above and beyond to be like, oh, that was nerve wracking, I'm still figuring it out, I hope you like it, and this is new to me. It's always important to feel comfortable. Now, Dove said that she always knew she always wanted to separate herself musically from the Disney Channel because she knew that whatever she was going to create on the channel was not going to be what she herself wanted to create outside of it. She wanted to start fresh and really be able to show people who she is naturally and have them receive it with no preconceived notions. Her single Waste is one of her absolute favorites. She said that song is something that she would release when she's 30 or 35 years old because it feels timeless to her. When it comes to her creative process when writing songs, she says every song is different. A lot of her songs have been co-written. Some of her earlier releases were just early batches of songs that were sent to her and things that her team kind of developed along the way and things that she worked with her producers on. Now during quarantine, she's been writing a lot and working with people differently now because her focus is on who she is as an artist. Every song and every collaboration or artistic effort is really different. She's very involved in the post-production aspect of all of her music and describes herself as almost controlling because she knows what she wants her music to sound like. She said she needs to have each song be exactly how she hears it in her mind before it goes out or else she will always feel like it's unfinished. When it comes to her music, Dove rarely thinks twice about something when she feels it is complete though. But when she does think twice about anything, when she actually waits to release a song, it's always about her own vocals. She said, but that's also like not being able to see yourself in the mirror or not being able to watch yourself perform. I think that's always going to be something that you have heavy feelings about. You have to let it go and trust that while you were in the booth, you were feeling it so much and people are going to be able to hear that. Dev said that she's always had a sort of internal battle between being a really independent person and someone's girlfriend. She says by nature, she's not just somebody's girlfriend by any means, but she does admit to being an incredibly intense romantic. She feels like she is really left-brained in the sense that she's so independent to the point where her walls can go up really quickly and although it has nothing to do with her boyfriend, it's just a constant internal struggle where she feels like she's meant to live in a penthouse alone to keep her feelings to herself. She also says that she's kind of icy quickly and that's a protective mechanism to her. Alright guys, so we are at our final three facts about Dove Cameron of Disney's Descendants, but like her as not a Disney actor, her as herself. Have you learned anything new about Dove so far? comment it down below. Be sure to check out my other videos I've done on Dove as well before you leave. Also, follow me on Instagram for your chance to win a shout out. Now, when it comes to her independence, she says it's her own struggle that she feels going back and forth between needing that independence, needing that space, and knowing who she is outside of the relationship and understand that she is not a relationship person, but then also understanding that, wow, this person is my world. She says that outside of the relationship, she knows who she is and she's not going to feel compromised by just not being in their presence. But she also believes that love is the most important thing in the world. Whew. 
Did that confuse anyone else? She continues on saying, that's the highlight of my life. That's the thing I talk about the most. That's the thing that I lament. If I'm ever feeling really, really low, a lot of it's feeling like I don't feel like I'm being seen. Where are my people? Where's my connection? And when I come home off of a session or when I get on the phone with another creative that I feel like we're in the same space or just worked with, these producers who I can't talk about right now, but I'm so stoked on it because they brought out like this strange instrument at the end and they were like all right we're going to re-record the whole song and you're going to sing it through this thing just having other people that are feeling from this strong point of view this strong vision and it shocks me it's something i've never thought about it's something that excites me as an artist that feeling is what i'm alive for and if i don't feel that i feel very empty i feel very low i feel very confused i feel very lonely i'm like where is that feeling of connection and then when i have it i feel like i'm running to work with other artists doing stuff that I don't do or that I don't understand or that they know more about than me, there's no greater high in my life. Like I said before, Dev focuses on her EP, but she feels like she needs to get these next few releases going and then hopefully can turn her attention to a greater body of music. If you're looking forward to Dev's new music, give this video a thumbs up. That's it for this video on 12 facts about Dev Cameron. Before you leave, be sure to check out some of the other videos that I've done on Dev before and on Disney's Descendants. I'll see you next time.